Chapter 3, The Primary Market, CBSE Class 10, Introduction to Financial Markets. Welcome back to our Financial Markets series. Today, we're diving into Chapter 3 of your Class 10 Financial Markets book, The Primary Market. By the end of this video, you'll also understand the key differences between the primary and secondary markets. Let's get started. 1. What is the primary market? The primary market is where companies offer new securities to the public for the first time. This process is often referred to as an initial public offering, or IPO. Think of it like a company selling pieces of itself, called shares, to raise money from investors. When a company decides to expand its operations, launch a new product, or pay off debt, it might need more funds. Instead of borrowing from a bank, they can raise capital by selling shares in the primary market. Number two, key features of the primary market. First time sale of securities. The securities sold here are brand new. Direct transaction, the money directly goes to the company from the investors, raises capital. This market helps companies gather funds for growth. In the primary market, Investors purchase these new securities, providing fresh capital to the company. Three types of offerings in the primary market. There are various ways companies can raise money in the primary market. IPO, initial public offering, the most common way. The company offers shares to the general public for the first time. Private placement. Instead of offering shares to the public, the company may sell them to select institutional investors like banks or insurance companies. Rights issue. Existing shareholders get the opportunity to buy more shares at a discounted price before new investors do. 4. What is the secondary market? Now that we've covered the primary market, let's understand the secondary market because it's often confused with the primary one. The secondary market is where securities, which were previously issued in the primary market, are bought and sold among investors. In simple terms, the company is no longer involved. Investors trade the shares among themselves through stock exchanges, like the NSE or BSE. 5. Difference between the primary and secondary market. Let's break down the main differences between the two markets. One, primary market. Securities are issued for the first time. Investors purchase directly from the company. Purpose, to raise capital for the company. Two, secondary market. Securities are traded after being issued. Investors buy and sell among themselves. Purpose, to provide liquidity to investors. Six, example to summarize. Let's make it simple with an example. Imagine you own a bakery. You want to open five new stores, but you need more money. You decide to sell shares of your business. This sale, directly from you to the public, happens in the primary market. Now once these shares are sold, if one of the investors decides to sell their shares to someone else, that happens in the secondary market without your involvement. Conclusion. So, to recap, the primary market is where new securities are issued, while the secondary market is where these securities are traded among investors. That's the basic difference. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Class 10 Financial Markets content. See you in the next video.